braced itself for quite a few figures. It is that day in the year when we receive the annual report and accounts of what the monarchy costs. And as you say, uh, we're now seeing for the first time the fruits of this new way that that uh, sum is calculated. The sovereign grant, which represents 15% of the profits of the Crown Estates, those huge areas of property that are owned by the Crown Estates in London and elsewhere. Now, this was started in April of last year, and in that first financial year for the sovereign grant, 2012 to 13, uh, Buckingham Palace received £31 million uh, to pay for the monarchy. Their expenditure during that year, of course a very busy year with the uh, Diamond Jubilee, was rather more than that, £33 million. Now we come to the significant increase. In the current year, 2013 to 14, uh, Buckingham Palace is receiving 36 million from the sovereign grant, and next year that figure will increase to 38 million, again based on this 15% of the profits of the Crown Estates. Now what Buckingham Palace is saying that is that this additional funding will allow them to tackle what they describe as the massive backlog in uh, repairs and refurbishment the, that uh, the main palaces, Buckingham Palace, Windsor Castle and elsewhere, uh, need as a matter of priority. They say that the bulk of this additional money will go towards these essential uh, refurbishments and repairs of that property, repairs which they've not been able to tackle for a number of years now. 